At the corner of Phil and Rice, photos of Sam DeBose are taped to a utility pole. Bows and a candle are also there. So was a license plate. It's just it's a lot of hurt there still. Five years later, we still feel like it happened yesterday. DeBose was pulled over on July 19, 2015 by former UC officer Ray Tenzing for not having a front license plate. During the stop, DeBose started his car and Tenzing pulled out his gun and fired a shot, killing DeBose. The car kept going and crashed into a utility pole. I really don't like being over there, you know, but I know, like, I come out there, you feel me? I try to at least on this day to, you know, show my respects for him and stuff because he went through a lot right there. Today, his daughters, friends, and supporters gather briefly at Inwood Park before, during, and after Sunday's thunderstorm. As the sun sets, candles are lit for DeBose, where he died. We take it one step at a time, you know, day by day. Um, yeah, honestly, it's a day by day thing. Like, you're not going to get over it. You just learn how to live with it more. For Reagan Brooks, two mistrials for Tenzing were hard to take. And the current climate fuels that feeling of injustice in America. The world hasn't changed, that nothing has changed. That maybe if we would have got a little bit of justice, we wouldn't be dealing with what we're dealing with right now. In Mount Auburn, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News.